Hi Aquarius, this is your January 2018 relationship reading. And the first card that I have for you, the first message card that I have for you is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So for some of you, not all of you, because this is a general reading, so it may not apply to each and every Aquarius out there. I'm feeling like some of you have met a new love, okay? And you're really happy about this person. Um, you're spending a lot of time with them. You're flirting with them because the next card I have is flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this is you and this person that you just met, okay? So everything is going good, okay? And then you have the codependency card. Addictions are effect affecting your romantic life. So you're feeling like you're really um, addicted to, not addicted, but you're like, you like being around this person. You're like talking to them all day long and you guys text message each other. Now, you have a new love here. You're flirting back and forth with this person. They're flirting with you. I don't know. I'm feeling like some of you, this is like an internet um or a dating site type of relationship maybe you met someone online but nonetheless get to know this person okay get to know this new person because i just had some feelings like that they're keeping something or they're hiding something from you so before you invest all of your energy aquarius for those of you who've met someone new before you invest all of your energy and become codependent on this relationship get to know this person okay because i don't know like when i'm shuffling the cards and i get messages um i try to keep them um so i can let you guys know you know what was coming to me and i was just getting the message that somebody's hiding something they're not telling you everything okay they're making everything seem good but they're leaving something out okay so just get to know this person <clears throat> excuse me and for others um i'm feeling like you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone honestly discuss your feelings with each other so I'm feeling like for some of you someone walked away from you and you really want to talk to this person you want to figure out like what happened what's going on why did you just leave me like that but the next card that I have is reconciliation so you're gonna get the chance to do that Aquarius okay for those of you um, who someone walked away from you and you want to talk to them and you want to discuss what happened because you feel like they walked away on some BS you're gonna to get to do that because someone is coming back okay now this is how they're coming back <laughs> okay so you want to talk to them you want to figure out what happened but someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship okay you see this right here someone either just had a baby with someone or you're pregnant and you just had someone's child and then they're dealing with someone else like you know apply it to your situation however it works but somebody's gonna come up, be coming back and they're still lying okay so they're coming back but there's still deception here okay so you have the trust card and it's in the reverse so you're not gonna be able to trust this person but I'm just feeling like for some of you Aquarius is you may still let them back okay the next card I have for you is free yourself it's time to take back control of your life okay so yeah you don't trust this person because they walked away from you or they stopped talking to you for no reason and you don't understand what's going on Aquarius um, and if this is not you feeling this way this may be your partner feeling this way about you maybe you walked away from someone um, but regardless you know it's time for you to free yourself it's time to take back control of your life because I'm feeling like this person, whoever they are, took control of your life. And when they left, you feel like you lost a piece of yourself. Okay? That's just the message that I'm getting here. Okay, so those were your message cards. And let's just get into your reading. Yeah, see, the first card that I have for you is the Eight of Swords. So this could be your energy, Aquarius, or some of you could be dealing with another air sign. And this is how this person left you feeling restricted feeling like you don't know what's going like this person on this card which could be male or female because the cards are not gender based um this person is on their knees and i'm just feeling like this is how this uh, partner of yours left you like uh, she has a blindfold on or he um doesn't matter the um gender but the person on the card has a blindfold on i'm just going to move it a little closer and they're tied up and they're surrounded around um, a lot of swords, which symbolizes thought. Okay, so you're in your head trying to figure out what the hell went on. What did I do? What caused you to walk away from me? What caused you to not want to be with me anymore? You know, everything was just okay um, 
a couple of days ago or a week ago or a month ago and now you don't want to be bothered with me and some of you could be dealing with another Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra the next card that I have is a ten of swords. So you're feeling betrayed. You're feeling stabbed in the back. You're feeling like you did a lot for this partner and they just walked away from you. The next card that I have is the four of swords. So you're needing to retreat. You're needing to be by yourself, to be alone, to get yourself together, like just to think and figure out like where where am I going to go from here? What am I going to do? Like I'm just feeling like you're really down. Like you felt like this was someone that you were going to be with for a long time okay you didn't think that things were going to end this soon yeah see the next card that i have is the six of swords moving away from a turbulent situation so for some of you i'm feeling like this person did you a favor even though you cannot see it now because a lot of like crap was coming with them and you just saved yourself but i just feel like they're going to come back they're going to try to come back and give you some crazy reason as to why they left okay yeah see the next card that i have is the seven of pentacles and it's in the reverse so some of you could be dealing with a earth sign a virgo taurus or capricorn but if not it's like you know this card is in the reverse for a reason because you're thinking like um you know something could still come out of this you're thinking like, okay, um, I did a lot. I put a lot of work into this re um, into this relationship, and you're just not ready to give it up yet. Okay, so you're thinking to yourself, okay, maybe you know there's something we can talk about. Maybe we can fix it. But I'm just feeling like this person is full of crap. To be honest with you, Aquarius. Okay. Um, the next card that I have is the Eight of Cups, and it's in the reverse. So it just shows that they walked away on their own terms. It had nothing to do with you. It was just because of something that they wanted to do. Okay. And then we have um, the Three of Cups here. I'm sorry, my finger is covering it. And then we have the Three of Cups here. So I'm just feeling like they walked away because of a third party situation. Like they were dealing with someone. Or they're dealing with someone on the side. And I'm feeling like this is going to be the um relationship and what i mean by that is this is how they're going to act aquarius okay i couldn't get that out i don't know why i can't talk this morning i'm sorry <laughs> this is going to be how they're going to be with you like they're going to always be walking away and it, there's always going to be two people here there's always going to be a third party situation for some of you like i said this is a general reading so it may not apply to each and every aquarius but for some of you i'm just feeling like you know what you see is what you get with this person so if you decide to take them back you know, this is what they're going to come with. The next card that I have is the Nine of Swords. So you're really down and out. Like, you know, you're really upset and you're pissed about this. And the next card that I have is the Moon card. So some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. But if not, it was like, um, you know, I'm feeling like there were signs. You know, there was something that you can tell wasn't right about the situation. Maybe you couldn't find them all the time. Maybe you would call them and they wouldn't answer your call. Or you could only talk to them during the daytime and you couldn't talk to them at night. It was just something going on with this situation where um, there was some deceit and some deception. Okay. The next card that I have is the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so you're feeling left out on the cold. You're feeling like, what the hell? Like, you know, somebody just up and left you for no reason. The next card that I have is the Hangman. Okay, so for some of you, you know, like I said, you still feel that there's something left between you and this person and you're just not ready to give up. Okay, you got the Hangman, Major Arcana. Um, it's in the reverse. You're, you're just, you're hanging on to a situation. Okay. Some of you may be dealing with the emperor, okay, um, and Aries, possibly, okay, and this person just wants things their way, and I'm feeling like they're going to try and flip this situation and make you think that this was about you, but I just don't see that it was about you. I'm feeling like this was all about them. This is something that they wanted to do. They wanted to walk away and be with someone else. The next card that I have is the Five of Cups. So some of you could be dealing with the water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, okay? Um, and you can't seem to get over this person. So you want them to come back. You want them to contact you. You want to talk to them. You want to find out what happened. 
Now, the next card that I have is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is about um, finding your happiness in the end um, of whatever has happened to you. So I'm just feeling like you will be doing things different this time around, Aquarius. You will be making yourself happy. You will be thinking about um, yourself from now on because I'm feeling like you didn't do that before. You may have put all of yourself into this relationship, into this um, partner that walked away from you. Okay, so now the next card that I have is the Ace of Cups. So for some of you, like I said, I'm feeling like you met someone new, okay? Because I have the Ace of Cups here, and then I have the Lover's card, which is the Gemini card, okay? So some of you met someone new, and you're really happy with this person. Like, you really like them, okay? Um, you guys are getting along, and, you know, everything is good right now, Okay? And then you have the Nine of Cups. So with this Nine of Cups, you know, this is hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. You're feeling like you've met the partner of your life, or at least you met someone that you want to be with for quite some time. But I want to tell you to hold up and don't move so fast, Aquarius, because the next two cards I have is the Tower card and the Seven of Swords, okay? The Tower card is just stating that some truth is going to come out about this person that you've met. Okay. Um, yeah. So just, you know, be on the lookout or I don't want to, I don't want to warn you like they're a tornado or some type of, um, hurricane. <laughs> but what I'm saying to you is just be careful. Like before you put all of your energy, um, into this partner, get to know them a little better, figure out what their intentions are. How about that? How about you do that? Find out what their intentions are with you in this relationship. Um, Okay, and make sure that, you know, their intentions are true because, you know, you do have the Seven of Swords here, which symbolizes someone being sneaky, and then you have the Tower card here, okay? So some truth may come out, something shocking, something you wasn't expected, something that they're keeping from you, okay? And then the next card that I have is the Six of Wands, which is in the reverse. So in the end, this new partner may not be victorious as you think. You you know, you think that you've met the per perfect person, okay? And some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And this is how I see it in the end, like the two of pentacles, like you're going to be juggling your thoughts and with this situation, like trying to figure out like, is this the person for me? Okay, because the six of wands is here and it is in the reverse. Okay, so those are your messages, Aquarius, for January 2018, a love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and I will see you next month. Bye.